Eliza, welcome to the university. Okay. Um, I have a very uh, current question for you. Um, so work through uh, with me if that's okay. Uh, you're working as a doctor in a busy NHS surgery. One of your patients um, you've just seen, uh, they've posted a very negative review of the consultation you had with them. Um, they've posted it on TikTok. Um, he specifically names you and the receptionist. Yeah? Yeah. How do you manage this situation? Please, can you repeat the question? Of course I can. So one of the, what, you're working as a doctor, of course, in a busy NHS surgery. One of the patients you've seen, they've gone and have posted a very negative review on TikTok and they do name yourself and one of the receptionists in that review. So how would you deal with that? Well, first you'd need to see like what you've done wrong mm -hmm. so you can reflect on it and then mm -hmm. let's see what, because obviously it's going, what one patient thinks is going to impact your approach to other patients. So mm -hmm. you'd want to know if you've actually done something wrong, mm -hmm. then you'd obviously because it involves you and another receptionist. Mm. Well, as you're working in the NHS surgery, you're part of a team, mm. so you'd want to like speak to people above you to try and get their opinion mm -hmm. on how to tackle the situation. Mm -hmm. So this could be like communicating with the LMC and mm -hmm. then going back and reflecting on the GMC guidelines to see if there's anything mm -hmm. that, you, that could help you. Mm -hmm. Then obviously you'd probably want to get the patient in who's posted it mm -hmm. because like they have posted it on TikTok and like that is breaching confidentiality and mm -hmm. like you're, that it's posted about like, do you know in the sense that doctors can't really breach mm -hmm. come, like stuff about the patient? Mm. Well, shouldn't that be reciprocated towards the doctor as well? Right, understood, understood. Okay, so you mean the confidentiality of the doctor? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. do you carry on? Then, why don't you want to... Well, you'd want to know what the problem was, mm. considering it involves you and the receptionist. Mm. So, mm. ask your colleagues as well, like if they understood the situation and maybe you have done something wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. um, but you might also want to take into effect, because it's a busy surgery, that maybe the patient's got quite agitated and anxious that they've not been seen or something. Mm -hmm. So I might have stressed them out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm done. Okay. Well, you've covered a lot of ground there. Thank you very much. Now, the next question I have for you is, um, a bit more in the face question. Do you think doctors should use social media? Well, a lot of doctors use it, like there's, you can see there's Facebook groups where different doctors can communicate with each other. Mm. So, like from different areas, for example, like around the UK. Mm. So, say if there's something, for example, when it was COVID, a lot of doctors were communicating about the vaccines mm. and whether it was good to use them like because obviously they've got to be vaccinated because mm. of their job and mm. the front line but then just with the distribution of them because some mm. with their socioeconomic backgrounds mm. some places weren't getting the right amount of vaccines okay okay um so it's a good way to communicate but mm. with having your patients on social media. Hmm. I don't think that is ethically right because 
like with the whole confidentiality mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not ethical. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's a problem because obviously, yeah, they're doctors, but everybody does use social media, mm. especially in our generation. Mm -hmm. Like it is a good way of communication. Yeah. And you also find out new information about like different articles, like with the breast cancer drug yeah. that was mentioned. Okay. Um, and it just gives you like someone else's perspective of something. And also if you needed advice on a particular case without breaching their confidentiality, yeah. you could ask for other people's input mm. and see if it could help with your... Sure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, done. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, great.